with God. It's the help that I'm trying to do. Don't let me put to shame. And they took this boy home, he donated money, and the man that he took promised that he's going to buy another bike, but he failed to do it. I was here in the church, church that day, and we have a call where they told him, then that did not know it is the grace of God. And those people now called me that the man wants to take the, the, uh, the devil and which is trying to betray me. So somebody now called us and my husband rushed down to that place and he went now because we had reported before to the police. So he called the policeman and then immediately our own, the devil told the uh, devil arrive and put the list and they want to move and their wound arrive. I want to give glory to Almighty God because I don't know, that is why you see me praising God. I don't have what to give him than to give him that. I pray and I cry, I think, because that money, I borrowed that money. I told our daddy in the Lord what I'm going through. And he writes the number for me to, to meet a police man. They do not answer me because it's not our father in the Lord that called me. So, and I go there every time. They keep on turning me because maybe they think I don't have anybody but I have God. And I want to give glory to Almighty God for our house fellowship here carrying. I made the complaint on them that they should pray for me, they should help me. And manage paying that money little by little, which I think that I cannot be able because I borrowed the money and had the one that is with me and buy the discounting for the for the boy. He told them to pray for me and they pray. Oh, um, this month will make one year. And I've been praying. I've been praying. I want to give glory to Almighty God. It was last week on Monday that the man called me because when I used to call him, he didn't used to answer me, he just said, I will call you, madam, I will call you, I will call you. Sometimes he didn't pick my call. I want to give glory to all my God because it's the mother. It's one that when you have God, you have everything. I want to give glory to all my God for doing this for me. The man called me he said, Madam, come on Monday to the police, then to the station. I want to resolve everything. Yeah, Karim, the good video, and house fellowship. Praise the Lord! I want to give glory to Almighty God because it's wonderful. It's worthy to be prayed. If you don't have God, if you don't have trust in God, please try to help. Because it is not that I want to be able to my support.
great because he was the one that opened our eyes in Nigeria with that teaching that look, salvation is not enough to make you a new person. You need to experience that change of heart with Jesus prayed for. Sanctify them in your world, in your declare the word is true. That's the only time you can get it right. When the heart is changed, when God Himself, according to what He said in Ezekiel, removing the stony heart, because that's where the problem is, and replacing it with the heart of flesh, that's when it becomes reasonable. They didn't get this right until they were sanctified. And the Holy Spirit came upon them. That's when they got it right. And so when you look at salvation and you stay there and then you jump to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, without holiness, come on. That's why we have all this problem. What we call disaster. Problem all over. That's why. Because jumping from salvation to Holy Ghost is devil ghost. Now, to prove to David that truly 
Saul was, was doing him, David saw it with his eyes like this. Because David didn't believe it when he had the information. Because this was the same Saul that had said, please, I am handsome. I know you are right here that me. Just to make sure that my name is not obliterated, removed in this kingdom. And the man, David promised him. So David was surprised. Is it true that this sword that makes such promise is still for me? Hey, that's all. You want to stop with me? You want to jump on? You want to lay back? You want to lay back? This is my. She got out my yard. That thing. Let me with me. Stop. You don't swear. You know she should lay back with me. And so when he saw it, he told me, "See what you did for God's sake." He told me, "Let me see your face." Then I saw David that said to Ahimelech, "He hit her," and to Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, "Brothers, we do her." Say, who will go down with me to Saul to the camp? And Abishai said, I will go down to thee, that was six, verse seven. So David and Abishai came to the people by night, and behold, Saul lay sleeping within the trench, and his spear stuck in the ground at his bolster. But now, and the people lay round about him. Then said Abishai to David, God has delivered an enemy unto thy hand. This day, now, therefore, let me smite him. I pray thee with his fear, even to the heart at once, and I will not smite him the second time. And then he said unto Abishai, destroy him not, for who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointing and be guiltless? And then he said unto him, furthermore, as the Lord liveth, the Lord shall smite all his day shall come to die. Or we shall descend into battle and perish. In verse 11, the Lord forbid that I should stretch forth my hand against the Lord's anointed. But I pray thee, take thou now this fear that is at his bolster and the pools of water and let us go. Verse 12. So then he took this fear and the pools of water from Saul's bolster and he gathered away. And no man saw him, nor knew him, neither awake, for they were all asleep, because a deep sleep from the Lord was falling upon them. Here was David, was led of the Spirit to call one of them, let's go to this place where this man is. David did at the and he called the brother of Joab, Joab to be the captain of the host, and they went. God where Saul was. You know what? God so did it that all of them were asleep at that moment. Because we know that God himself deliberately placed a deep sleep on them. And they slept off. Now, why was God working with this man here at this time? Because he has come back from wanting to destroy now and back to the heart of, oh God, we will fight my battle. He will continue to want to revenge, and that's what our problem today. The more you are trying to revenge, the more problems you are bringing to your life. I lived in this country for almost 70 years now. I know when I was going up in the Mutemeta there, when people were still normal, not insane like you see in the church today. Now when you see, when you see, you know, you know, you know, I'm talking of 70, I'm talking of 60. Nobody used to pray that anybody should die in those days. And you know the church, like I told you about CSC, I've been existing then. And you know the church that died, died, died. Okay, they pray, but not in that direction. Now, when they go to buy, and they go to lose, but it's not all this 
telling them here is not speak what it is that we made him to know that truly I would have killed if I wanted to kill him. You know sometimes God can give you some ideas how to deal with your enemy. But not to kill your enemy. Now, what did he think what he should do? Let's see what followed. Verse 5. Verse 5. From verse 13. Verse 13. I hope you remember people who are and the rest of you are looking at your Bible as I read as well. Verse 5. 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 Verse a foul, a great bay, be between them. And then he cried to the people and to Abner, the son of Ned, saying, Answer it thou, not if not. Then Abner answered and said, Who art thou that criest to the king? And then he said to Abner, And not thou a valiant man, and who is like to thee in this prayer? Wherefore then art thou not kept thy lord, the king? For there came one of the people in to destroy the king, thy Lord. This thing is not good that thou art done. As the Lord liveth, ye are worthy to die, because ye are not kept your master, the Lord's anointed. And now see where the king's spear is, and the pools of water that was at its poster. Can you see what David is doing here? This is Wisdom. You know, you know, when you talk about knowledge or technology or science, you will put it intelligently when you have the knowledge of God first. Look, within the year that I've lived in this world, I've traveled very far. I've read many books. And I've seen many things myself. See, all those who make money through corruption, they don't survive. They don't. When they talk about corruption, not only stealing from government, stealing the church is corruption as well. Collecting money that God never asked you to collect is corruption. And I've told many of them that have died and said death in this country. When they're not supposed to die, with long life, I'll be satisfied that's what God said. I'm not going to die to read their death. And I'm going to tell you something about death. Because I can talk about death. Because I know death. In the church setting, I know death. In the corporate world, I work in the corporate world before God asked me to do what I'm doing now. I, I didn't just wake up and say I want to start church. No, I walk. I have quitted. I went to school and I, I quitted myself in the corporate world before after I have retired. So I got to the right level. Corporate war. I gave my life to Christ. I was a politician in this country. And some people like us are talking, they know me when I'm talking. Is it? I see why you know who that is. The talking politics, what the politics were, were politics. Who are this one? Are they politics were, were politics? I'm telling you something. I know all their misbehavior. I put it for you. None of them that corruptly enrich themselves, whether in the church or in the system, that survives. Because they're not making it in life. And not of them who have made it see how they are looking. Can you see joy of God around there? What success are they making? Success that has no joy. Can you see joy of God around there? 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 Luckily, I met Brother Kumuyi. Hey, luckily, 
they walk for who for I did not come to die anyhow. We died of sickness. Walk for who? Walk for walk for rice. Serious sickness. So totally. You be more for a better man from that. When God was giving the law to the children of Israel, He put it there. Look at it. Exodus chapter twenty. I'm reading verse thirteen. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. That's the instruction of God. If anybody offends you, then you can never share. Take it to God in prayer. Are you saying they should die? All those who say people should die, where are they today? All those who say people should die, where are they today? In Matthew chapter 19, somebody came to Jesus. Asking him about the Lord that will take him to heaven. I'm going to read in Matthew chapter 19 from verse 16. From verse 16. And ye also come to him and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why fallest thou me to? There is no good what one that is good is not found of God. Is there a good one? God, for him that will enter into life, keep the commandment. Verse 18, he said unto him, which? Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. Number one, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not be a false witness. In verse 19, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Brother, here you see that what the Lord is telling this man, number one, thou shalt not commit murder. You know, when you commit murder, it's not like you are committing murder. You know, when you commit murder in any way, you are not in any way pleasing God. Will any way that you are killing people. I tell you, you can't enjoy God a minute for a second. You know what I discover about these men of God? I'm glad that I'm a man of God myself. What makes one a man of God? Keep to the word of God. Keep to it. Keep to it. To obey it. When you answer the bishop, or a bishop, or a pastor, no, that doesn't make you a man of God, a woman of God. What makes you a man of God, a woman of God? You hear the word, you read the word, and you obey it. You know what they want to call themselves men of God? They even call themselves bishop. Even they don't even end like that. They will complete it. Apostle, bishop, doctor, reverend, one person. You see, it shows how mentally deranged that is. They are sick in their head. Oh, in some of our own, in your long, our followers should show up for bishop, for the church, for better to come up with Islam. Because even in academic environment, today you really need to see many of us. Putting in front of our men. I mean, when you read up to PhD level, what do we do now? We have simplified everything. Because, right, let's say I have a doctorate degree, I will just write any of that, just put PhD behind me. That's all. What makes you an intellectual is the way you are. Organized thing, the way you think, the way you okay. Look at the president we have in our country. Too. I mean, what makes such a president? No wonder this man that left, you know, who, who left America as president, what's the president Trump? When he met our president, he said, This person is like this. I mean, I, I mean, because somebody cannot, you know, speak. You can imagine Nigeria that you have such. I don't know. As our president, this is very bad. Like, you know, you know, Trump can. Well, we are telling you, Nigeria, you can see a red Trump from Batumi. When he arrived, we are telling you, Nigeria, he is unique. To be fair, but 
the form the Holy Spirit. No, it looked like all the Nigerians. In fact, yesterday, yesterday, no, no, no. one of our children was appointed. He's a professor of, you know, uh, what was his? Uh, I can't even remember his week. Did the president of America just an, a, a, appointed him to be the class group of high level scientists? Professor Dad, I will just testify to what's here in Nigeria. And then he now said, This is our president. Oh, for the shame. You know, America, he didn't have a pay or more than your body or a future equal to the other nigger. Of the Nigerian child, the child of Nigeria in America, professor. He's not put in the science, science group there. Or more than you did in Jimmy, you know, I could chair and offer you put that in the potty in more. You know, what I'm trying to let you understand is this. All of this provision, book, line, all this thing. If you need to see somebody who introduces it, I'm a gospel teacher, don't do it, I'm a gospel teacher. The prayer I want you to get that prayer, I'm a gospel teacher. That's a spirit of madness. But in any, to go for the bishop, that's the bishop of Jehovah, as a woman in him, will now call on the family. The good thing to see, you must try all you can not to kill anybody, either by walking or by action, in any way. Because if you destroy anybody in any way, either in the church, like many men, men of God are doing, don't understand by you, maybe uh, people they work together, they struggle together to suffer, and they bring their children to, to take charge and kill that person. No, that's you. Of his blood, of his life, and you pay their name for it. Doctor, doctor, bishop, people that cannot hold their churchy. 
experience. By experience. Different from by spirit. By experience. by That when you know God. It's about more life are living. I hear you are back on You are living the word of God. It's about more long. You are increasing in knowledge. It's about more long. That's what happened to me. I'm to share the same one with you. I'm going to go to the Lord. I'm going to go to the Lord. I'm going to Promoting me. Okay, now I'm retired. What if I'm divine? About seven or ten. I mean, 2007. This is 2024. But he years ago. Okay, I'm and I'm still rich. What's it? Do you love me? I'm still prospering. I'm still prospering. Till I die, I'm still prospering. And I will not cheat anybody. And I will still be looking younger than most of them that I see me on. What's it? Do you love me? Till I die, I'm still prospering. And I will still be looking younger than most of them that I see me on. What's it? Do you love me? Till I die, I'm still prospering. And I will still be looking younger than most of them. If you think if we reach now, see them. If you, you almost say I, I should call them my father. Even when, sometimes what can make them say, who sent you? The man who will buy you, that's a very good one. Did you call it all prospering there? You can come to this church and remain safe. Yeah, you are still in your life. You are not to make progress. You are not step forward. You are not to move forward. You are not to test him on it. You must look at where you are coming from and look at where you are now. If you can see progress and you are here anymore, give our children. 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 Give our That time to speak to God now. Well, no, so. You may not have heard a message like this before. Well, you may not have heard it before. Now you are hearing it. Now you are hearing it. Now you are hearing it. This is your God. It's not a joking matter, brother. This is your worship. It's a serious matter. I mean, you can't ask you can't even touch it. Just one way, one place. No! Yeah. 
You can't do anything that you that we make you happy.